For this video, I'm going to review the interactions among living things in an ecosystem. So we've talked about the relationship, the interactions between abiotic and biotic elements. I'm just going to focus on those biotic elements. I'm going to discuss mutualism, predation, and competition. So the first is predation, and uh, we think of the predator and the prey. This is where one organism hunts and eats another organism in order to meet its basic needs. Now, a herbivore or an organism that only eats vegetation, plants, cannot be considered a predator because you have to hunt your prey in order to be considered a predator, and we, we don't hunt grass. Um, now, the predator would be a carnivore. The prey could also be a carnivore, or it could be a, her uh, a herbivore. The most important part about this interaction is that sense of balance, that these two groups stay in balance. An example would be the lion and the zebra. So the lion is the predator, and the zebra is the prey. Now, the lion's population is directly connected to the zebra population. So as it goes down and increases, so does the lion population. Now, if the zebra is being eliminated from the ecosystem for reasons other than being hunted by the lion or by its predator, its population could decrease dramatically, say for, due to disease or habitat loss or hunting. This has a dramatic impact on the lion population. So even though, and it causes an imbalance, because the populations are going to fluctuate and they fluctuate naturally within an ecosystem and a food chain. But once another element goes in and messes with that balance, the, the predator isn't able to sort of recover and adapt to that. Um, so we could see huge losses in the lion population if the zebra population is being hunted by the lion, but also by humans, maybe has a disease or their habitat is lost. And there could be a real imbalance in that interaction and would have a huge effect on the food chain and the ecosystem in that region. Mutualism. Uh, mutualism is an interaction between two or more organisms uh, in a region where both of those organisms benefit from that relationship. So they both get something from that interaction. A great example is a bee and a flower. So the bee moves from flower to flower and it gets nectar from the flower that it needs to go back and to stay alive and to make honey. And as it travels from flower to flower, it's spreading the pollen from the flower to other flowers, which pollinates them, which makes more flowers. So without the bees, um, we wouldn't have the flowers. And without the flowers, the bees wouldn't meet their basic needs and we wouldn't have honey. So this is an example of mutualism, where both of the organisms benefit from the interaction. And the last is competition. So this is in one region where two or more organisms are competing for the same basic need. Um, and this interaction, again, there's this, there's this idea of balance, um, and if there isn't a balance, then some of the organisms will die off. An example of that would be trees in a forest. So if we go into a forest and we look at those tall trees, one of their basic needs is for sunlight, and so they're going up nice and tall so that they can get that basic need, they can get that sunlight. And if there are smaller trees or less mature trees, they are competing for that sunlight. And if they are overtaken by a larger tree, then they don't get that sunlight, they don't receive that basic need, and they eventually die. Um, so that's what competition looks like in an ecosystem.